I'm going to tell about uh, a little bit about uh, all logistics and some very basic uh, things to consider when uh, it comes to wagons for all transportations. And uh, <clears throat> the first thing um, is uh, to see what, what is the railroad capacity, what, how much can it stand uh, in terms of weight. And there's two, two uh, different uh, factors there. And it's the <coughs> max, I'll draw a railroad here. And it's the max axle load. It's called S STAX. And it, uh, that's a limitation. And uh, a normal max axle load is 22.5 tons. 22.5 ton, tons per axle. Uh, and then the second limitation on the railroad is the maximum line load. That, uh, <clears throat> that means how, how many tons per meter it can stand, the line load. So STAX 22.5, that's for an example. We have up to 30 tons per axle and even up to 40 in some cases. That's very extreme. Uh, max, maximum line load. Let's take an example, eight tons per meter. Tons per meter. And uh, these two uh, figures determines a lot about the, the limitations for the wagon. And with four axles per wagon, two, three, four. <clears throat> we can count here how, how uh, much, uh, how uh, heavy the whole wagon can, can be. It's, uh, it becomes 22.5 times four is 90 tons. And this, this uh, weight is the total wagon weight, so it means it's uh, the weight of the wagon itself, the tear, tear weight, and plus the, the weight of the payload. So, uh, of course, you don't uh, want to pay a lot of money to uh, transport steel back and forth, so you want to keep this uh, tear weight as low as possible. Uh, to be able to have more payload instead. And uh, then <clears throat> if you comp combine uh, this, this figure with the 90 tons total weight here, wagon weight, It's the line load, maximum line load is eight tons per meter. So this, this load of 90 tons have to be distributed on a length that's long enough to, uh, so it, it's maximum eight tons per meter. Uh, and if you have a, a lim limitation on the total wagon length, and you want to have as many wagons as possible in the train, then it's very interesting to keep the wagon length as short as possible. So let's calculate the shortest possible wagon allowed on this track. Uh, wagon length. So it's the total weight is 90 tons. And we divide that with uh, eight tons per meter. Per meter. And uh, that turns into 11.25 meters. So that is the shortest possible length of, a, of each wagon that you can have. If, you, if it becomes shorter, then you exceed this eight tons per meter. If, it becomes, if you make it longer, uh, it's, you can do that, but uh, it, the wagon itself is gonna be heavier the longer it gets. So 
you, you want to try to keep them as short as possible.